All right, in this one, I'm gonna walk you all through how to make a simple coaster that you can laser cut on our machine. This one's gonna have um, a bottom, a top layer, an indentation, or a kind of cutout in it for a cup, and then uh, where the insert, will, there'll be a spot to put a piece of cork with an image of your one of your favorite things or parent's name or whatever you wanna put on top of it. All right, so first thing, let's see. While we got our page stuff, I'm just going to draw a square. I'm going to draw any shape. We're going to make this, so for coasters, it's a good size to make them about around four inches or so, I would say. I tend to make them a little bit less because our machine member has a, a 12 inch by a 24 inch cutting area. If you make them a little bit less than four, you can stack three on top of each other and they'll fit in 12 inches. If you make them exactly four, they'll kind of go off the page because you need a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to do 3.75. So again, I'm just making, after a rectangle, making the height and the width 3.75 inches. This one, are, I had defaulted, it was already defaulted to having curved edges. Remember, if, you, if you, yours is not defaulting to that, after you draw your square, just click on it, double click on it, grab the little dot, and you can pull it down and make it curved, whatever you think looks good. Again, this is more for feel if you want it really curved or a little bit curved. But having them sharp usually is a little bit annoying, so I tend to curve them a little bit. And we're good so far. We'll, 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 we'll worry about the color a little bit later. All right, so now I got my main outline. I'm going to now go in here and control shift F. Remember that brings open the color dialog. Um, I noticed that my outline, I can tell I must've done something where it was dotted. So I'm going to, my line was dashed. I don't want it to be dashed. I want it to be regular. And we want the width of the outline to be 0 0.001, remember. Because that's what makes a cut on our machine. And that is good. You might notice too that the size up here went down a little bit. If you want to reset that to, because I made the line smaller, so the width and height also get smaller. If you want to reset that, you can. Honestly, one hundredth of an inch doesn't really matter that much, but if you want to be perfect, you can be perfect. All right, so now we got that. Now I'm going to duplicate this, Control D, and drag it over here because we need two of these. We need one of them to be our. And actually, also, I noticed on mine, for some reason, mine's transparent. I must have been making something that was transparent before. So yours should be defaulted to be, be full color, but it doesn't really matter because we're not going to use the color anyways. Um, yeah, so we're going to use two of these because one's going to be the bottom. It's going to be a thin piece that's the bottom of it. Then the next layer is going to be a piece that um, has a cutout for the cork to set into, and then we're going to glue them together. So we need two of them to be the exact same size. So I just copy one there to make sure I don't forget about it. Now I'm going to draw a, actually I'm going to keep the color here. We're not going to use it. We'll turn it off at the end, but I'll keep it on just so we can see it. I'm going to draw a circle. Just throw it down there to start. Make it a different color so we can see it. And now this circle is going to be where the cup would sit in. So I'm going to make this, again, if you want to figure out how big, you can kind of play around and get it to be about the size you think looks good. That looks reasonable. And I can look up and see, oh, that's about a little less than three. So maybe I'll make it three a three inch diameter. That looks pretty good. Now we want it to be centered, remember? Because I don't want this, unless you want to do some weird coasters that aren't centered. So remember we do that by Control Shift A, brings up the align dialog. Make sure this thing where it says relative to is set to first selected. At least that's how I use it. And that just means whatever you select first, that's gonna not move and everything you select after that is gonna move with respect to it. So I'm gonna click on the uh, rectangle or square Hold down shift, click on the circle so I can select more than one thing and center it sideways and center it up and down. Now we're almost done. All it's left to do is now I want to take the circle and I'm going to copy that. So control D copies it and drag this off because when we assemble this, we want the bottom piece. We want the top piece with a hole cut in it. And then we want the cork that's going to inset into it. So we actually need to cut these three different things and then glue them together. So now um, we could do a few things. I'm going to go up to these top pieces and make sure that the, the line sizes are correct. So I'm going to click, uh, click, select that, select that, and select the circle up here. I held down Shift and selected all those. Control Shift F, go back to the fill dialog, check the outline and make sure, see some are different, set to inches, make sure they're all 0 .001 inches. So the cutout. And now I'm going to change the colors to white or you 
technically turn them off if you want to. Either or is fine for our sake. And now remember, it looks like it disappears, but if I zoom in, it's still there. Just that the outline is really, really thin. So I'm going to actually um, go back up here for a second. Now remember, you want to do that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just so we can see it while we're working here. But remember, when you go to actually cut this out, you're going to make the outline 0 0.001 for anything you want to cut because that's how our machine works. All right, so you got the bottom piece here. We got the top piece here now. Now, I, you might have noticed too, I didn't cut this out. I just drew the line because it's going to work fine because I'm not using any, there's nothing really below it. You could do path difference and subtract the circle. But the problem with that is if you do that and you want to make change of size later on, you make it and you realize, oh, it's a little bit too big or a little bit too small. You have to go remake the whole thing or add the piece back this way. If I made a mistake, I can easily change it. So usually I keep them this way unless there's a reason for me to subtract the middle out. Um, the last piece is going to be to take our cork and I want to put a logo on this, I'll put something on it to make it unique. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to make the outline, let's make this just a little bit different color so we can tell them apart, make the inside clear, going to make the outline a little bit bigger just so we can see it. And now I'm going to get a piece of art. So I'm going to go online. I found this piece of art here that I like. Now remember I'm using it cause I'm making this for myself. If you're going to ever if you're making things for yourself, it's usually okay to use artwork. Um, if you're going to sell it, though, you want to make sure you use artwork that you paid for or that you got rights to or that someone said you can use it to sell it for some reason. So I copied that. I'm going to paste it in here. And again, I'm not going to use that directly, but I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to do path, trace bitmap. This is a nice piece of black and white art, so it should give me no problem. I can use the, the settings here. It should be fine to trace it. If it's something more gray or something different, you might need to play with the settings. Again, you can check out the tracing video on that. So I'll just hit OK to trace it. There's my traced version. I'll get rid of the original one. This is my clean trace version. Now I just got to make it the right size. So again, when I'm resizing it, if I just grab the corners, it's going to squish it. I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Control and grab the corner. When I do that, if you notice, it doesn't squish it. It just makes it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to put that on top of my circle, kind of zoom in, hold down control again and resize it and get it to about a size that I think looks good. Again, I'm just doing this by touch and feel and look. I think that looks about reasonable because again, you want some space in between the sides. And now I can kind of get control shift A, go back to the line, by, line dialog, click on the outside first, click on my image, center it sideways, center it up and down. And I'm actually, I'm done. So I have, again, the base part. It's going to be the bottom of my coaster. The kind of border part that's going to have the inset in it. And then this is going to, this represents down here. This is the coaster or the, the cork piece that's going to actually go in there that the things that sit on top of. And this is where I'm going to add your logo onto it. Now, if you want to be fancy, you could add some logos, you, some stuff around the outside here or do whatever you want. But for now, this is good enough for me.